everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little different than my usual videos and in this video I'm going to show you what I feed my handsome little boy disclaimer that I'm not a licensed veterinarian or a nutritionist I just wanted to share what I feed Ralph on a daily basis and I've been doing this for about an year now and also I want to mention that this is only half of his food because we still feed him kibble. To give you a quick introduction, Ralph is a golden doodle and he's two years and five months old and he's about 80 pounds. Now let's get straight to the recipe. So all the vegetables I'm using are organic and I have organic carrots, uh, two pounds, kale, about 350 grams, and broccoli about 400 grams and sweet potato three pounds for meat we are using turkey ground turkey and we're using 94% lean and 6% fat when we initially started making his food we made for about seven days then and also we used to cook them then Eventually, we started baking them, which made everything easier, and we were able to make food for about two weeks. So now we bake everything, vegetables and meat, and we make his food twice a month. We use six pounds of turkey. This is three pounds each. We transfer them to a bigger tray and break them a little bit. Then we bake them in a 350 Fahrenheit degree oven for about 45 minutes. When the turkey is ready to go into the oven, I usually keep it aside and I start peeling and washing the sweet potatoes. Peel the sweet potatoes and wash them thoroughly. I'm going to use another pan to bake the sweet potatoes. Try to cut the sweet potatoes into even sized pieces. This is going to help to get an even bake. Transfer the sweet potatoes to the pan and here I'm going to add a little bit of uh, coconut oil. So I'm actually using uh, organic coconut oil and I'm going to add about one tablespoon of coconut oil and I'm going to mix it well with the sweet potatoes. Load it well with the oil and bake it. When the sweet potatoes are done, I take sweet potatoes and turkey and bake them together in 350 Fahrenheit degree oven for about 45 minutes. While turkey and sweet potatoes are in the oven, I start making, um, prepping the carrots. So I peel them, wash them, and I cut them into even sized pieces and I transfer them to a tray. The reason we started feeding Ralph homemade food was that when he was about one and a half years old, he refused to eat kibble. So it was hard for us to feed him kibble and we started researching for other options. I showed you earlier the tray I'm going to use to bake carrots. I have a uh, parchment paper in the tray because I use that tray for my baking so it won't get discolored by baking carrots so I'm just using that. So I'm cutting these carrots to equal, equal size pieces for an even bake. After cutting the carrots I am transferring them to the tray that I prepared earlier and I'm adding some oil here. Coat carrot well with oil and set aside. Now I'm going to prepare the broccoli and kale. So I'm using a similar tray. Um, this is actually eight by 13 inch tray and I have lined with a parchment paper. So when preparing broccoli, I try to cut the stems into smaller pieces so it's easy for him to eat. 
and also the bro uh, broccoli florets to smaller pieces that way it's easy for Ralph to eat and also I usually mash other vegetables so when it when I cut broccoli into smaller pieces I don't mash them so I just uh, combine them with the other vegetables So when I'm done with broccoli, I usually transfer it to the tray only onto one side. So I leave the other side open for kale. When preparing kale, I usually wash them and before washing them, I take the latter part of the stem, the harder section off because it's a little tough for Ralph to eat. Then I take the remaining stem and cut it into very small pieces as you can see. Then I continue cutting the remaining leaves um, into smaller pieces or stripes. Then also I divide them uh, from the middle so it's not too long. It's easier for him to eat. Do the same to all the kale and transfer it to the empty side of the tray. Then I'm going to add the remaining coconut oil to kale and broccoli and give it a massage to coat well. By the time I'm done with um, preparing carrots and the greens, usually the turkey and the sweet potatoes are done. So I take them out and I put carrots and the greens into the oven. So I still have the oven um, on 350 Fahrenheit degrees and I'm going to bake the carrots for about 50 minutes and I'm going to put the broccoli and kale for about 20 minutes. So you can see the turkey and the sweet potatoes are done. So the turkey usually comes out like this so I take a spatula or a wooden spoon and I break it to small pieces while it's hot. After this, I'm going to take the sweet potatoes and transfer it to a bigger bowl. So I'm going to mash the sweet potatoes in this bowl using a potato masher. Usually by the time the turkey and the sweet potatoes are done, we have this taste tester who pays a visit to the kitchen to test some sweet potatoes. And he usually try to stay and grab one, and one or two here and there, but we try not to feed him too much. As you can see, I try to mash these sweet potatoes pretty well, so it's easier for me when I add the remaining vegetables and combine them. Here I'm going to add the turkey to the mashed potatoes and um, I'm going to add all the liquid that's in the turkey, which is going to help to give the moisture to the food. Mix turkey well with the sweet potatoes. After mixing, I'm going to take the greens out of the oven and I'm going to add them to this mixture. Give kale and broccoli a little mix before you add them to the mixture. After adding the broccoli and kale, combine everything together. Finally take the carrots out of the oven when it's done and you have to mash them a little bit. So for carrots you need a little bit of elbow grease. That's why it's easier when you cut them into smaller pieces um, to mash them. And also um, make sure to mash them when it's still on the tray because um, it's, it makes everything much easier. also want to let you guys know that this diet might not fit your dog so if you are planning to change your dog's diet please consult your veterinarian before doing anything else even we did that and um, she asked us not to stop feeding him kibble that's why we are still feeding him kibble 
When the carrots are mashed, add them to the bowl and give it a good mix. After mixing everything together, I, I keep this bowl on the countertop until it comes to room temperature. We usually store his food in glass containers. With this recipe, we can fill around 14 containers. Um, each container gets about one and a half cups of food. That's usually his um, half of his daily food consumption. Also, he gets two cups of his kibble. After filling the containers, we keep around three containers in the fridge for the next three days and remaining we freeze. After we are done with the first three days, every night we usually take one from the freezer and leave it in the fridge for the next day's use. And also I forgot to mention that we usually add about a quarter cup of rice to his food every day if we have rice in the kitchen. If not, some days we don't add that, but mostly we try to add that, include that in there as well. During weekends, I try to add an egg or some bacon just to make him a little happy and so he won't get fed up of this food. So that's how I make Ralph's food and I hope this video will help you in some way if you're planning or deciding to change your doggy bear's food. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching!